To enable barcode scanning on your Quail account, you'll simply head over to Store, Settings, and you'll want to go to the Extra Features tab here, and you'll see Enable Barcode Scanning and Printing. Simply set that to On. You'll see changes were saved, and down here you want to click Reload Quail. Once that reloads, you can head on over to your new transaction screen, and you'll see here that you have a new button to scan barcode. To set up your barcode scanner, the first time you plug it in, you'll need to go through a few uh, setup steps. Now this is only for the Zebra LS1203 that we sell. If you purchase another scanner, you'll have to follow those steps outlined uh, by the manufacturer. But for the scanner that we recommend, you simply connect the cables plugged into the USB port on the PC. And then from the quick start guide that's included in the box, you'll want to complete add and enter key step. Here you'll simply take the scanner and you will scan each of these three barcodes in order. So you'll just go scan number one, scan number two, scan number three. Once you do that, the barcode scanner is set up to work with Quail, and you only have to do this the first time you plug the scanner in. Now that you've enabled barcode scanning and printing on your Quail account, I'll show you how to print barcodes on behalf of your vendors. So go to Store. You'll notice a new button for print barcodes here. Go ahead and click that. And on this page, we'll be able to generate our barcodes. You can do it for one vendor at a time. You can intermingle booths um, and print a whole sheet for them um, if you're tracking you know, everyone's inventory for them. Um, I'll show you how to do that. But first off, we're going to say that we're using a 4 by one template. This is a 4 by one um, label. You also have the option of selecting a two and five eighths by one. Uh, we will mention that on these smaller barcodes, you want to make sure you have a high quality printer. If you're using, uh, say, an off the shelf uh, inkjet printer, um, we recommend the four by one. So we'll go ahead and pick a few booths. Uh, booth, and then if you're tracking inventory number, you can enter that here. And we can add a few items. We'll pick uh, a few boosts along here. We'll do one more. There. Once you've entered all the items to create a barcode for, you'll want to validate barcodes. This just goes and looks to make sure there are no errors. So we'll do that. All items look good. And now we can print the barcodes. We'll hit that one more time. And it will generate uh, a, a printable form here that will go on that 4 by one template that's already in the printer. A little overview of what you're seeing on these barcodes. Um, as far as the text, the first item is the long description. That's what you typed in um, on the description line. Down here on line two, it's broken up into a few uh, sections. Uh, first being your booth number, then your inventory number that you entered, uh, a truncated description, uh, and the price. Now that you've generated the barcodes, say one comes up to the counter and you want to uh, scan that on your new transaction screen, you'll just click scan barcode, take your scanner that you've connected to your PC or computer and just scan away. And you see you can click one after the other. It'll load into your new transaction screen in the background you'll see. You can click done when you complete all the barcodes you want to scan. 
and all those items are already added to that new transaction. If you were to then want to enter a few items by hand, you can click new item. And it adds the new transaction and then you'll calculate and complete the payment um, as you would on any other normal new transaction.